A disagreement over funding leaves the city of Logan without an animal shelter. The animals are normally housed at the Cash Humane Society, but the organization says the city is not giving them enough money to operate after they became a no-kill shelter in 2016. News for Utah's Rosie Nguyen gets both sides of the argument. We simply couldn't, could not in good conscience accept a contract that would require us to reduce our standard of care. The Cash Humane Society serves about 2,000 animals a year. In the last two years, their costs increased by 20%. We approached Logan City back in May with a firm analysis of where we were going to need to go to stay a no-kill shelter, and they were not comfortable with that additional cost. She says they were told they would be added to the city council agenda on July 17th to address these financial concerns. But instead, they were presented with a different proposal the next day. We wanted to pay a lump sum and give the, and give the Cash Humane Society the opportunity to charge fees that before we were charging, we felt like it was a really, really responsible and good offer to them. Chief Jensen says their partnership ended when the Humane Society purposely locked their animal control officers out of their building. Frist says that's not true. Officers were notified of the routine lock change and provided with the new keys. Nonetheless, both the city and Humane Society are moving forward on their own. We are now able to take in more animals from members of our community. We are staying true to our mission, and, and I do believe that we, uh, through this process, will be able to truly save even more. It appears today that we may have a contract with another facility. We'll likely look at building our own facility. Reporting in Logan, Rosie Nguyen, News for Utah. Chief Jensen says until they can find a long-term solution, they're keeping their stray and lost animals in kennels at the police station.